course, we want to present the findings of the engaged research that our students conducted during their master thesis trajectory. And we want to present them to the municipality of Rotterdam because Rotterdam Inclusivity Project is uh, co-financed by them. And uh, the findings of the student research are very important uh, to to deliver, to give back, and so our alumni can provide recommendations um, on the basis of their findings. What I really liked is that there was looked at uh, problems or questions that the Waalse government also really sees, zeg maar, and where students then sort of toch sort of uh, ex-students a new light on werpen, or let them see that hey, if the city uh, op deze manier betrekt in je in je vraagstukken, then leads it to the volgende uitkomsten. And have you thought about it? I decided to do my thesis in irregular migration, specifically a demographic group, uh, which was the unaccompanied um, irregular men. I did my research in the New Brug, which belongs to the uh, Salvation Army ONG. And it was a really good experience because I had the chance to also give uh, a feedback to them in terms of which was were the aspects of the shelter they were offering that made life for them safer and which are the aspects that also introduce new risks for the services they, they are providing to them. Shelters were perceived by this population, the unaccompanied men, the regular men, uh, migrants, it was perceived as safer than living in the streets. But the striking element here was how shelters also introduced new risks. The shelter options for this group really important because they're safer than living in the streets, especially from both standpoints, right? From more like humanitarian st standpoints, but also from governmental standpoints. I think uh, if we are looking for durable solutions for a uh, regular man, we need to also complement this with more humanitarian aspects of by offering shelter. I wrote my thesis within the framework of the uh, municipalities' policies that they made for diversity, inclusion and anti-discrimination, talking with them instead of about people. I really wanted to see, okay, so how does that work out? When is talking with the people actually valuable and how can we um, make the most of that? I think very interesting is that both the municipality and the people from the social movements that I talked with really want to work together to give the people a voice. But it's really interesting to see how that acts out within the current system that we have, because um, it seems that the politicians, the people from the municipality, want to reinforce the system that we have right now. And the visions of people from social movements, for example, are more transformative. If we want to make policies about people, um, to include them, to um, use diversity to its fullest that we should do it with those people and not without them so if we actually go listen to them and they see on the ground what's happening that we base our policies on that instead of making up what we think is needed in the society um, so that's why i think it's important